Hi, third grade. We are here with another science lesson. Today, we are going to start our lessons on magnetism. To start off, we are going to go through some essential vocabulary that you're going to come across while we learn about magnets. Learning this vocabulary now will help you understand the lessons better as you go through them. Let's get started. Our first vocabulary word is magnet. Amen. A magnet is an object with a magnetic force. Magnets can repel or attract certain metals. Remember, repel means to push away and attract means to pull together. So here we have a picture of the object, which is a magnet. The picture is showing these yellow lines to represent the magnetic force. Now, you can't see magnetic force with your bare eye, so this is just showing as a representation to help us better understand that there is an invisible magnetic force being omitted from the ends of this magnet. Our next word is magnetism. Magnetismo. Magnetism is the ability of an object to push or pull on another that has a magnetic property. So in this image, we see two magnets, and then we see these two figures on the side holding them. Do you think these magnets are repelling, pushing away, or are they attracting, pulling together. The next vocabulary word that we're going to learn about is magnetic field. Campo magnético. A magnetic field is a region of magnetic force around a magnet. In this image, we see the magnetic field around the magnet and it's represented by lines. When you see a magnet in person, you're not going to see these lines in real life. The image is just using these lines to show you what the magnetic field would look like if it weren't invisible. Since magnets have an invisible magnetic field, any metal that comes in contact with this magnetic field, even if it's not touching the magnet, can be attracted, pulled toward the magnet itself. If you take a similar side of the magnet, let's say you had another magnet with a north side and put it toward here, the magnetic field would be used to repel. Remember, similar sides repel and opposite sides attract. Last, we have the vocabulary word pull. Polo. A pole is the area on each end of a magnet where the magnet force is strongest. So, like we see in this image, we have a magnet with two ends. These ends are called the poles. So instead of saying the north end and the south end, the correct term would be pole. So you would say the north pole of the magnet and the south pole of the magnet. Just like we said in the last slide, opposite poles attract. So these two would pull together. And the same poles repel. So here we see two south poles and they are pushing away from each other. You can tell with these arrows what direction they're moving. And the same would happen if we had two north poles facing each other. Magnets can come in all different shapes and sizes. Over here, I have an image of some different looking magnets. No matter what those magnets look like, they will always have a north pole and a south pole. Down here, we have a bar magnet like we would see up here. And this barb magnet has a north and a south pole. Remember, that's just the strongest part of the magnet. The middle is still magnetized. 
It's just the strongest parts of the magnets are on the end. You might also see a magnet that looks like this. We call this a horseshoe magnet. We saw one that looked like this in the beginning of this lesson. Again, there is a North Pole and a South Pole. You might also see a magnet that looks like this. It kind of looks like a wheel. There's a cylinder and then there's a hole through it. The top of this magnet is the North Pole and the bottom is the South Pole. All right, boys and girls, now that we've learned the essential vocabulary that we're going to be using throughout our lessons, let's hop on over to watch a video all about magnetism. Have you ever used magnets? What did you notice? When you put two magnets close to each other, they may attract or pull closer to each other. They may also repel or push away from each other. Magnets can attract or repel each other without even touching. The force that causes this to happen is called magnetic force. A magnet is any object with a magnetic force. Magnets can also attract things that are made of certain metals like iron. Magnets can even attract or repel objects through solids, liquids, and gases. Magnets cannot attract things made of wood, glass, plastic, or rubber. There are many uses for magnets. Magnets are what make a compass work. The red pointer in a compass is a very lightweight magnet. Earth has a magnetic field. It behaves like there is a giant magnet with one end near the North Pole and one end near the South Pole. The red pointer of the compass will always point toward the North because the magnet is attracted to that part of Earth's magnetic field. Did you know that magnets are used to make roller coasters start and stop? Magnets are also used to keep refrigerator doors shut. They're used in speakers, TV screens, computer monitors, and telephones. Magnets help display beautiful works of art on your refrigerator. What kinds of things will you use today that are made with magnets? All right, boys and girls, that's all our lesson for today. Have fun learning about magnetism. Bye for now.